Alan Schlumberger, the oil services group, has made a $15 billion bid for Cameron, another oil services group today. We've got the oil price collapsing, stock markets collapsing. Surely this is utter madness from Schlumberger. Well, it, it might not be. There, there's an opportunistic uh, play here. I mean, Cameron shares are down, Schlumberger shares are down. Uh, neither of them have done as badly as some, uh, frankly, this year. I mean, they're both down, the shares are down about 15% this year. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is that Schlumberger and Cameron, they do know each other. One, Schlumberger is, is the leading oil service company in the world, frankly. It's the biggest. Uh, they, they do all sorts of things, but frankly, it's mostly services. Cameron makes equipment, for, particularly for uh, offshore um, drilling uh, wells. So Schlumberger is looking to get into the manufacturing game with this deal? Well, it, it does seem that. And that, I think, is an interesting question. Why are you doing this? And a number of the questions on the call, though I think it sounded, that in my mind, that the analysts were favorable. Uh, a lot of questions came on about Cameron's drilling segment. This is, you know, again, an area that it's slowing down, particularly offshore. Um, why are they moving into this area, Schlumberger? They tend to have an asset-like model. And so what do you think uh, Schlumberger will be looking to get out of this deal? Um, costs, for, for one thing. Um, as I said, they, they know each other. They have, um, uh, they have a joint venture. It's called One Subsea. Um, it's involved in underwater equipment, valves, pumps, things like that. But it seems to be doing okay, getting some orders. Uh, both sides are happy. Uh, analysts seem to be reasonably happy. Um, so the, it sounds as though they have the beginnings of an integration there. They've had a good look at each other, um, and they like what they see. Um, you're going to ask me about cost savings. Mm. Um, they're saying about 900 million, 300 in the first year, 600 in the second year. Now the way I worked it out is that um, in the way that some analysts prefer to look at it in terms of earnings per share accretion, there's some in the first year possibly, most likely in the second year. We don't like that. We prefer to just get a sense of the value you know, created. These cost synergies probably, if you tax them and capitalize them over time, probably worth around in the area of six billion dollars, maybe a little less. The premium they've paid is closer to four and a half, five billion. So it looks like there's a bit of a, you know, an NPV that's positive. Deal that makes sense then, even though you need nerves of steel to go ahead with it in the current conditions. Alan, thanks very much.